What's up world? In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the differences between the Tornado T3000 and the Leonhardt tournament model. Before I get into that, I just wanna make it very clear that I do sell both Tornado tables and Leonhardt tables. And with that out of the way, let's dive right into it. The first thing that I notice when I look at these tables is that the Leonhardt has a single goalie and ramps in the corner, whereas the Tornado has three goalies and a completely flat surface. Now, both of these designs have pros and cons. I'll explain. The pro of the single goalie system is that it is a cleaner game. By cleaner game, I mean that there are less junk goals. A shot that would have missed the net, but accidentally redirects off the winger and ricochets into the goal. Especially if you're not used to a three goalie system, this can be really frustrating to deal with. But the downside to the single goalie design is it's a slower game. As the ball enters the ramp, all you can do is wait for it to return into a playable zone. Whereas on Tornado, at any point with the ball in the corner, you can immediately advance it out, keeping the pace of the game high. Although they're similar in size, the Tornado surface is three inches longer, and this gives room for the goalie rod so the wingers can move without hitting the back of the cabinet. You can see here that the goalie rod on the Leonhardt is closer to the goal line. And while it seems like a minimal difference, it does slightly change the way that you need to defend. Okay, let's dive into the gameplay and see how these two tables perform. When it comes to the relationship between the surface, the ball and the player, these tables differ quite a bit and similar to the goalie situation, the Tornado game is a bit faster than the Leonhardt game. For example, take a look at my style of game on Tornado. I only briefly contact the ball to change direction, moving it laterally. I'll vary the speeds and look for openings to advance, working my way down the table closer to their net where I will eventually shoot. But the way that I play on Leonhardt is a bit different. While the theory remains the same, I'm advancing from rod to rod where I eventually shoot, I use a different series to get there. Since the relationship between the surface, ball, and player are different on Leonhardt, I adjust my game to its advantages, and that is its grip. Unlike Tornado, where I'm constantly dribbling the ball, on Leonhardt, I spend more time in contact with the ball. I start in a pin position and I build series to advance up the table towards their goal. Now, this is just how I play on these two tables. Both of these series are doable on both tables. Personally, I just find it a bit easier to pin and brush on the Leonhardt and I find the Tic Tac easier on Tornado. Earlier I mentioned that defending on these tables are a little bit different. The Leonhardt's goal is a quarter inch or six millimeters larger than the Tornado goal. Mix that with the thinner foot on the Leonhardt table. I find shooting and scoring on Leonhardt easier than Tornado. The two bar and the goalie rod have a slightly different range of motion. Again, it's minimal but if you've trained muscle memory on either of these tables, you will definitely notice a difference switching back and forth. You can see here on Tornado, when you move the goalie rod all the way to the bumper, you move the player further than what is needed to cover the corner of the net. When you're on Leonhardt, if you wanna cover the corner of the goal, you have to put the goalie all the way to the bumper. So goalies on Leonhardt when they come over to Tornado, they often move the goalie rod too far, exposing the middle of the net more. And when Tornado players play on Leonhardt, they're more likely to not go far enough over, leaving the corner of the net always open. Now, let's move on to the table design. 
This is where I think that Leonhardt has the edge. Leonhardt has metal legs compared to the composite legs on Tornado. Both of these tables have adjustable feet for leveling, but the Leonhardt's foot is grippier, and this is much better if you're playing on a hard surface. The Leonhardt cabinet is made from solid wood. The Tornado cabinet is made from MDF. And I really like this little addition on the Leonhardt. They've added a metal strip on the corners of the goal. Chip nets are really difficult to repair, and I think this addition goes a long way. The Leonhardt table is a single cabinet design with ball return ramps on both sides of the table. The Tornado is a split cabinet design with one ball return ramp on the yellow side. Both of these tables have room for internal storage, which is great if you have extra parts lying around that you want out of sight. Tornado's split cabinet design definitely has the edge here. You have the ability to lock your cabinet together for a little extra security for what's inside. To access the storage on the Leonhardt table, you have to get underneath, you have to bend your arm in an awkward way. It's not as ideal as storing parts inside of the Tornado table. The next part that I want to compare between these two tables are the handles. For the texture and the feel, I give this to Leonhardt. They've got a really nice rubbery material that feels great on the hand, but where the Tornado wins is the attachment style. The Tornado handle is attached to the rod with a pin. The Leonhard handle is attached to the rod with friction. So if you're shooting a shot and you stub the ball, it's possible on the Leonhard table that the handle slips. That won't happen on Tornado. Both Tornado and Leonhardt use split bearings. The major difference here is actually the size of the handle on the Leonhardt. With the smaller handle that fits through the bearing hole, this makes removing the rods on Leonhardt much easier. To remove a rod on Tornado, this requires punching out pins in the handle and the players. The benefit of being able to remove the rods on the Leonhardt table is that it makes it easier to move. Unless you've got access to a pickup truck or a large van, you will not be able to fit these tables with rods intact into the back of an SUV or car. The last part of the cabinet design that I'll talk about today is the score markers. Both of these tables have score markers for goals and for games won, but the Leonhardt has an extra set of markers for your timeouts. In competitive play, we are given timeouts every game. When playing on Tornado, it is up to the players to keep track of their timeouts. On Leonhardt, you don't have to leave it up to memory. Having that marker is really nice. For those of you who have stuck it out until the end, I appreciate your time. I know that was a lot of information. I hope that you have a deeper understanding of these two tables. If you're trying to make a decision as to which table's right for you, I honestly believe that there's not a wrong answer here. These are both ITSF certified tables. If you take care of these investments, they'll last you a lifetime. Thank you for watching. Take care.